So one of the biggest problems in compliance and identity in the traditional financial world is getting something else or another institution to verify the identity of your client or your user in a way that you don't have to do that, in a way that you can rely on another system's or another entity's verification. Now, what these verification entities do is they basically have people, departments of people, verifying information against APIs. OFAC APIs, government, uh, federal and state APIs, and various other sources. Some of them have document verification submitted by the user, which can now be done via AI uh, through analysis of the PDF and verification of, of the accuracy of the documents. So basically, if you can automate the verification process and you can cryptographically prove that that automation was done in line with certain technical standards, then all of this compliance stuff becomes a lot easier and actually a lot better and a lot harder to manipulate. That is the first part of what the Chainlink Automated Compliance Engine is about. The second part is where do you put that information? Where do you put the information once you've verified it? Once you have a reliable source like the LEI that verifies things reliably about identities? Well, you need to put it into an on-chain container, in this case called CCID, the cross-chain identity, that is portable. Portable means that you can attach it to a transaction, to an asset, to a wallet, or to a set of wallets that allow the identity to move across chains. And this is where CCIP, the cross-chain interoperability protocol, comes in. And the CCID-CCIP combination now allows you to move assets and data as well as identity and compliance verification, which is really powerful because when the token arrives at the target destination and you want to exchange the token for some kind of uh, asset, a tokenized fund or whatever asset, you can be faced with two scenarios. One scenario is, oh, thank you very much. We received your stablecoin. Now it's time for you to go through a two-month verification process before we can conclude this transaction. Not a great user experience. The other option is, we received your stablecoin and our smart contracts automatically verified that you've already proven your identity two years ago via the verification of XYZ API for investor accreditation. And therefore, the smart contracts in about two to five seconds were able to conclude the transaction and send you back the tokenized fund over CCIP and now, in about 10 seconds, your stablecoin transfer has resulted in you settling a transaction with us for a tokenized fund. I really want the second one. The first one doesn't sound great to me. So if you make a highly reliable system for automating and proving the verification of things, and then you're able to put it on chain in a highly reliable, reusable, portable way, you can take that process of doing a transaction down from two to four months to two to four seconds. That's uh, pretty valuable. And I think if, if we can successfully do that in collaboration with institutions, in collaboration with regulators, in collaboration with everyone that defines how compliance works, then actually the ability to do transactions that quickly and efficiently will become a massive feature of tokenized funds, real world assets, stable coins that doesn't exist in the traditional finance world. And so that is, that is very exciting and I think will we'll be, we'll be very positive if done correctly in our industry.